Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Thomas Tropics. I'm Thomas, there are my tropics. I want to show you today how we can propagate tropical fruit trees. There are several different methods like air layering, um, rooting cuttings or the technique I want to show you today it's grafting and but for today I have a special method how or where we can graft really small plants so we can propagate really tiny cuttings or science the today's topic is how I said micro grafting um, why do we micro graft in my opinion it's one of the easiest way to graft because when we are using small rootstocks um, the whole trunk is cambium so it's really easy to 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 match or to yeah to match the scion with the rootstock we don't have to look for a perfect scion and a perfect rootstock diameter so and we can propagate really small plants and yeah so I want to show you that method with uh, my variegated polista and a Savara rootstock before we graft we have to look for a scion if we have um, plants we can use to graft I will take a scion where no um, where we can't see buds that are breaking so they have to be buds but not buds they are opening then we have to take some leaves because if we don't um, take some leaves from the scion it will evaporate too much water and the rest of the leaves I will cut in half so there is still some some growth in it some circulation of, of, of nutrients but not too much when we prepare the scion uh, one very important thing to have success with micrografting is we should look that the rootstock is beginning to, sp to grow so we, ha we are looking for um, signs of growing so like this bud here or um, this bud here if we find a rootstock with that science it's okay it's perfect then we have to cut it and first of all we will spl split the rootstock so you have to be very careful wrap the knife yeah so I cut it not good split the rootstock in the middle be careful grafting knives or I'm using for micro grafting a, a scalpel are very very sharp so you should cut two blade lengths into the rootstock and that's okay so something like this if we split at the rootstock we can wrap cut the cyan 
the camera won't focus, that's not good. So, make sure both sides are have flat cuts. Yeah, it won't. Okay. Good. If we have, if we made that, stick the scion and the rootstock together. Can be a little bit tricky. And when they are together, you can look, press them together. If there aren't any light coming through, it's okay. Then we will take our body tape or parafilm, it depends where you are, and we will wrap. First of all, we are wrapping it to hold it together with the first layer, and then we can put a little bit pressure on so the scion and the rootstock sticks together and uh, they can connect so so now I will make the the grafting tape like a rope and I will put some pressure on not too much because they are very thin the, the wood isn't very hard of the rootstock and the scion, so we can make more damage than good. So, yeah. So, when it's wrapped, I will take a, 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 a plant card, I would say, and write on which variety it is, it's Plinia, Coliflora, Paulista, Variegated, and I will write the, 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 the datum of it, today it's the 23 of January to at least I have my small box with high humidity inside. Here I'm putting my micrographs in and they will stay here for two to three months. And after two to three months, you should see new growth. For today, I hope you could learn something. I hope you enjoyed the video, please. If so, let me a thumb up, subscribe to my channel and we will see you the next time. Bye friends.